What's up everyone, thanks for checking out this video. In this one, I'm going to be going over a question that a lot of players have been asking me in my previous videos. And that is where I got this outfit or backpack at. I've actually been questioned that multiple times in my previous videos in the comments. First off, I wanted to mention that the backpack isn't what you think it may be. It is not an individual accessory. This is attached to the outfit that I am wearing. And there is multiple outfits out there with different kind of backpacks that you can get on them. Currently at the moment, we're not able to have like an individual backpack that we can customize and choose. However, like I just mentioned, we can find gear around the game that have backpacks already on them. And since there is expected downloadable content on May 7th, where we'll be getting customizable backpacks, as you can see here for an example, and also will be introduced to the legendary pioneer scouts during this downloadable content, whoever they may be. I decided since that's coming up in the future, I'll make a video strictly over the different outfits you can get that have backpacks on them. I'm pretty sure that this is all of them, but I may be missing one or two. If I am, feel free to let the community know down below in the comments and also how to obtain it. I'm pretty sure though this is all of them. Now I will mention I'm not going to be covering the Atomic Shop outfits. I know there are a few in there such as the Mailman Apparel, but since those cost money I'm not going to be going over those because I know not everybody has money available like that. Or should I just say Atomic Points, but you know not everyone has that available. Anyway, so to answer some of your questions that I've had in the past on where I got this outfit or backpack, I guess I'll go ahead and start with this one. And this is actually called the Traveling Leather Coat. Now this is is an extremely, extremely rare drop from the Meyer regional events. All you'll need to do is grind out the events in the Meyer region, which is over here in this darkened section, until you get the traveling leather coat to drop. Once again, it is very, very rare to get the drop though. It's kind of like trying to get your hands on those ultra rare masks during the parade, but not as bad. Those were actually way more difficult to get your hands on. But yeah, of course, it's still going to be a grind to get. Also, there is an alternate version to this outfit as well. You can get the drop called the Leather Coat, which just looks like the Traveling Leather Coat, except it doesn't have a backpack. Also, in case you want to know where to get this hooded gas mask at called the Assault Gas Mask, you can actually purchase this over at the Sutton train station for pretty cheap, and I think it blends pretty well with the outfit. Honestly, I believe it was actually meant for it. Anyways, next up here, I'm going to be showing you where the Union uniform is complete with the hat. As you can see, this is what this outfit will look like along with the backpack. I think the backpack looks really nice on this. And feel free to mix match the headgear with it. I'm just showing where the Union hat is for those of you that may want to rock the complete set. But anyways, you can find this over here at the Philippi Battlefield Cemetery. And once you eventually get over here, you just want to enter inside this building and open up these cases inside here. And sometimes a Union uniform can spawn in this case, along with some black powdered weaponry as well all around in here. You can also find some other apparel in here as well, but these won't have backpacks on them. You can find the Civil War era suits and top hat on this counter here, right beside the case that you open up to get the Union uniform. And down here in this section of the building, you can open up these cases and find a Confederate outfit along with the Civil War era dress, which actually looks pretty nice. And also all around in this building, you're gonna find plenty of black powdered weaponry. And if you check upstairs, you can also find more apparel and more black powdered weaponry. But yeah, that's pretty much all that's inside here. And in case you want to find the Union hat to match the outfit, that's going to be in a completely different location. As you can see, it's going to be located over here at Hopewell Cave. And once you get over here, you just want to head to the top of this place and you should find a cemetery up here. And at this cemetery, you can find the hat on this grave here. So up next, I have for you the Brotherhood Scribe outfit, complete with the hat once again. As you can see, here is what it looks like. And this backpack is huge on this outfit. It looks really nice. Now, all you'll need to do to get this, it's actually pretty simple. You'll just need to join the Brotherhood of Steel, which in this video, I'm not gonna go over every single step, but to get you started on the path of the quest, in case you don't know, you just need to head over here to Abby's bunker and use Abby's personal terminal inside and choose the option for Defiance. From there, it should waypoint you to the next quest steps you'll need to do in order to join the Brotherhood of Steel and get this awesome outfit. So anyways, next up here, we have the Longshoreman outfit complete with the yellow sticker hat. 
Now, I'm not exactly sure if we're going to be able to actually customize our backpacks in the future like this, where we'll be able to personalize it so much we'll be able to add actual fish hooks on them, but I have to say that would be pretty sweet. It'll make it more personalized to the player. For instance, if the player really likes the fish, I'm sure he or she won't mind adding some fish hooks to the backpack. I don't know how customizable these backpacks are going to be, but I know they're going to help players stand out more. Not everybody's going to be wearing the exact same backpack, I'm sure. But anyways, now both of these unique apparel can be found from the random responder bot that can sometimes spawn at Charleston Station. In case you don't know, to get this random vendor to spawn around in this area, all you'll need to do is run to the second railroad bridge over here. And wait like maybe 10 seconds or so, if that. Then run back to the train station and wait for some things to load in. You'll notice when you go back toward the Charleston train station that random events will spawn right outside of it. And sometimes you can get the responder vendor bot to spawn here. Which this vendor sells some interesting loot along with sometimes selling the longshoreman outfit and the yellow sticker hat. I unfortunately didn't get it to spawn when I came here, but my allies that came here with me got it to spawn for them. Keep that in mind, everyone will have a different selection when they go up to this random vendor bot. Anyways, up next I wanted to go over the surveyor outfit. As you can see here is what it looks like. Now this contains a smaller bag on it, as you can see. It has that one strap over the shoulder look, but it's really easy to obtain this one if you are interested in it. All you're gonna have to do is just go to a silo. I went to the alpha nuke silo, and I just hopped the server there a couple times until I saw this spawn inside the locker here. As you can see, the locker will be partially open, and you can find an outfit in here. So this next one is a pretty difficult one to get your hands on. This one is called the Fire Breather Uniform. As you can see, here is what it looks like. And this one is going to be another one of those random event rewards. Instead, you're going to be able to have a chance at being rewarded this outfit along with the helmet too from the forest region events, which is the green section on the map, rather than the mire region that we went over previously for the traveling leather coat. The forest region is where Vault 76 is, so there's going to be less difficult events to take on. So this is going to be easier to get your hands on rather than the traveling leather coat as well. So if you are in search for this, you're going to have better chances at getting it. Lastly up on this list though is the Trapper Armor Chest Piece. Now this one is an interesting one because this is probably the most detailed and biggest backpack that we can possibly get at the moment because you know that backpack DLC hasn't hit quite yet and I just find it interesting because this is an actual armor piece rather than just some clothing that we could wear it gives damage resistance and all that good stuff it'd be pretty cool to get a full good set of trapper armor just because of the way it looks I personally like it I like all of the outfits that involve backpacks that's another reason why I decided to make this video not only to pump players up for the future downloadable content to come but also just because they look nice on players after all we are carrying quite a bit of stuff so having a backpack would make sense but yeah, that's about wrapping up this video, everybody. Hopefully you found it enjoyable. And if you did, maybe consider leaving a like. That's always greatly appreciated. And hey, also, if you want, maybe give my channel a chance by subscribing. As always, though, that's totally up to you. I'm out of here, though, everyone. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. Until next time, peace.